The Duxbury Music Promoters held their annual Duxbury Idol competition this month. From the more than 20 contestants, nine were chosen to compete before three judges and a live audience at Duxbury's Performing Arts Center. PAC TV Community News met this year's Duxbury Idol winner. Singing is my sanctuary. Um, I can start a voice lesson and be all in a tizzy and talking about this and that and the other thing and the second I sing that first note it's just clarity and peacefulness and it comes from a place where it's just calm serenity. All you have to do is focus on the breath and the sound and everything working in like a circular motion. So Dexbury Idol has been around for a, a bunch of years actually. Uh, Molly Jewell was the first winner who was judged this year and we did have a pre-audition from the nine contestants that were drawn. There were about 20 to 25 people in the pool and there were two pre-judges and they're the ones who um, handpicked the nine contestants and we had about three weeks uh, to prep for the performance. We are given instructions that we would need four songs total, three for the rounds, one for if we won. First round is voted by the audience, the second round is voted by the judges, and the third round is the audience again. This year I was in the seventh position out of nine for the opening round. Uh, very weird, and I think the hardest part about having people before you is we're sitting in the back room listening to everyone on stage, and just the thing that's going through your mind is, oh my god, these people are so talented, how am I ever going to compete with them? And, and my friends are standing next to me, and you have to be supportive, but you're also kind of really rooting for yourself. After the first breath and the first note, and just it's just like a rocket. You just go off and you're there and the audience is with you. I went from pop music in the first round to almost classical opera in the second round, which is a huge shift and I didn't know how the judges would take it. I think beyond just the initial shock of getting through and just excitement, the most wonderful part of it all was that the people who didn't go through immediately turned to the rest of us and gave us hugs and supported us and told us they were rooting for us and were so proud of us. Before I sang my last song, I was so excited that I was through for the first part and it was between me and Skylar and Tommy and Skylar and I were joking backstage about how Tommy was totally gonna win. They were coming up to me and saying that they hoped I win and I was going up to them and saying I hope they win and all of us definitely wanted it for ourselves but just the whole supportiveness still carried through even to the last round and what they did the judges was each judge was assigned one contestant and so before we sang our song they told us why they picked us why we went through and um, I got Molly Jewell and she said that some of the nicest things I've ever heard about my voice and so going into that I kinda had this confidence and this I can do it and my last song was just fun it was fever and afterwards um, when I've when the dust had settled and everything had cleared and we all went out to stand and wait. I knew that there would be a long wait between the decision and um, the announcement. The 2013 Duxbury Idol is Can you handle it? <laughs> Maddie Parkinson! The two people standing next to me, Pat McLennan and Maddie Tower directly, they just have this look of sheer friendship and happiness and pride in my winning and it was so nice to be able to see that and have them completely embrace the fact that um, they didn't go through and I did and just be so supportive. You know, and I had to keep reminding myself that I had won. It was so nice to sing my first audition song as my last song because it was just a full circle for me. It was just such an amazing feeling and I had so much support coming back from the community. I felt like a little small town celebrity. <laughs>
I want to continue singing just because it's a part of me that I wouldn't give up for anything in the world. Something about singing just clears things and it's, it's a mental clarity and an emotional clarity and it's really, it's a wonderful feeling. It's an, I have amazing opportunities ahead of me and I hope to carry my voice with me.